Spring has finally sprung, and all week long, I am celebrating the arrival of spring with five mouth-watering brunch ideas that are sure to impress. Today, I'm going to show you a bacon and egg breakfast bake that basically takes all the classic flavors of breakfast and turns them into this rich, savory, delicious cake-like thing. Really tasty. So I'm starting with about four or five slices of bacon that I've just given a rough chop to, and we are just going to fry this up. In a large bowl, I've got some day-old baguette that I just cut into one-inch cubes. I'm going to toss it with my cooked bacon, some green onion, and some cheddar cheese. Next, it's time to mix up my egg mixture. So I've simply cracked some eggs into a dish, and then I'm going to add some milk and season it up with some salt and some pepper. We don't need to get carried away with the salt here since we have all of that bacon and all of that cheddar already well salted. I'm going to pour my egg mixture all over this yumminess and then toss it all together until it's well combined. You want basically all of that bread to soak up all of that egg so it gets nice and moist and delicious. I'm going to transfer it into a zipper bag and then put it in the fridge for at least an hour, but overnight is actually ideal. When it's time to cook this baby, you can either use a traditional baking dish or if you wanna make a really pretty sort of cake shape, I would highly recommend doing this in a spring form pan. Just remember to grease it really liberally because it does love to stick. Then I'm just going to pour my bread mixture into my pan and use the back of a spoon to smooth it out. And I'm just gonna sort of smoosh it down in the center because I wanna create a bit of a well because I'm going to top this baby with a little bit of uncooked bacon, some more shredded cheddar, and some more green onion. Into the oven this goes at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for about 30 minutes or until it's completely set. When it's ready, you'll wanna let it cool for about five minutes before removing it from the springform pan. Then all you need to do is slice it up and it is ready to enjoy. This dish is super rich, savory, and comforting. Perfect if you're trying to spoil some guests. There's nothing not to like about that. The full recipe for this yummy breakfast bake is in the description box below. I really hope you guys will give it a try. And of course, if you do, don't forget to tweet or Instagram me a photo because I love seeing your kitchen creations. And I've got a lot more great brunch ideas coming all week long. So be sure to subscribe to the channel. And if you're looking for even more brunch inspiration, I've got some here for you. Go right ahead, click away. See you next time.